We are continuing with the theme today of checking out some of the new things from the New England Mountains map update. We have yet to hunt for the Collard Peccary here on Parque Fernando, and when they were announced, I remember saying that I didn't think they were the best fit, but actually, a lot of you guys have corrected me and said that they do fit here quite well, so I'm looking forward to seeing where they are. I actually did jump on multiplayer for like an hour earlier just to see and found some in the dead forest, which is sort of what I expected. But I want to check some other areas and eventually work our way up to that spot. And imagine that. <laughs> the first thing we see is a level 3 cinnamon teal. And it's actually sitting down there on the water, which is fairly relevant. Because as I was setting my loadout and stuff for this, a number of cinnamon teal flew over. They are really fast. The odds that we would get one out of the air with the 22 are not good. So let's see... That'll work, got to see the blood spatter and everything. And the other ones don't even know anything happened, so... Had we missed, we wouldn't have spooked him and still could have had a chance, but... I wonder now if Cinnamon Teal could troll. I bet they can, because... Turkeys and Cinnamon Teal have the same scoring, and... It is now possible for Turkeys to troll at level 3. So, Cinnamon Teal probably can too. Looks like we'll have to run around because he's not going to float over, but... Pretty good start. I... I kind of think as well it might be the red plumage type, which is at least an uncommon. It is, it's a 4.67, so well above the 4.62 requirement. I would like to know, have any of you actually had a troll cinnamon teal yet? Because I'm thinking that could be a thing that could happen. And I'm just curious if it has transferred over. It would make sense. We could go through all of our old diamond cinnamon teal and see if we have any at 4.60 or 4.61, but I would bet we do. Honestly, I had all but forgotten that red deer were even on this map and of course they now drink at the same time as every other map 6 to 10 a.m so we have another 30 minutes in game of them being out and active this is the 6.5 by the way so not the best caliber for them but if we can get a heart shot we won't need to track them that is pretty much what we're looking for i was a little worried because that was like 190 out and the 6.5 is i would say undoubtedly the most flat shooting rifle in the game, but just a touch high there, probably at the top of the heart, and saves us a couple hundred meters of tracking anyway. As for the Javelina so far, just no sign of really any of them anywhere. Got a gold for that guy 185, so at least he made it. But we are kind of heading over towards this lake. I'm thinking maybe, like, we'll go to this lookout and kind of glass around. That's a good spot. Mule deer and stuff are often very visible from there, and... I would like to think there's gonna be some down here too, but from there, if we don't see any, we'll just head north to the dead forest. I would say, like, if there is a herd or a group of peccary in something like this, we'd never see them if they were standing up, let alone if they're resting, but about the only thing I can see from here is a herd of mule deer, and I guess with the 6.5, we might as well go ahead and try to take the level 3 here. Can't hurt to go for that. I actually, I'm surprised we got that. I intentionally kind of kept that shot a little further back because again, the 6.5 is a bit underpowered and those laying down angles can be odd. And I was afraid of maybe not getting through to the lung, but forget that, we got straight to the heart. But not half bad, managed to avoid the tracking on this one too. Double lung and heart, kind of got the bottom far right side, even a gold on that guy. Just barely made it at 223, so we'll take that, and we're going to pretty much go straight north. We'll start to hit some of the kind of dead forest terrain around this road, and hopefully we start to run into some collared peccary. That's going to be the best area to see them anyway. As I said, they're so low to the ground and so small in general. Some of this kind of brush on Parque Fernando would just hide them incredibly well. Out there, there's really none of that, so that'll probably help our case too. Well, that is what we're after, but I'm thinking maybe a puma got there first. Got Javelina and Axis here going everywhere. There's a four. I mean, we could try to get that. They're not too terribly hard to hit on the move. Having a little more breath would have worked, but got the ends to drop with the 6.5 again. I think we're three for three with that. Not half bad, but I don't know why else they would have all come running out of there. Wouldn't mind getting the maybe get the puma as well but we'll go and get that one i don't know that there's any reason to 
pursue that group of them any further because we got to see everything. But good to know they're in some big groups over here. And as a level four, that should be a guaranteed gold. There's vital blood so we didn't get like a spinal cord hit or anything. For that guy, a gray 107 score. Actually, hard shot again. It's funny how that happens. We get on random accidental streaks to hard shots, but not too bad. Got our first Javelina on Parque Fernando, and it's a gold. And I guess what we'll do then, because we got all the way over to sort of the west side, is, you know what, actually, let's go up around this lake. There, We never go up there. Usually there's not a lot there. I'd like to know, too. Is it still red here at drink time? Gonna be close by the time we get there. I'd be interested to see if Red Deer drink there, because again, everything was reset and redistributed like, I don't know, almost a year ago, and we've not really messed with it, so there could be Red Deer there and I wouldn't know it. But along the way, a little bonus access deer as well. We're kind of getting some good species variety here. Got a gold there at 176, right long shot with the 243. I guess our hard shot streak has come to an end, but the one with the 6.5 is still going. Well, at the very least, that answers that. There are red deer drinking here. Those two both look to be like level 5s or 6s, so we'll let them go. Again, we're like right at the very end of red deer drink time, so I don't want to spook any away. We'll try to go around and see if there's any more. So instead, we got onto the track of a max weight water buffalo, and it turned out to be a stuck mythical, which... If it was a legendary, I just wouldn't shoot it. I would wait till it got unstuck, but we'll go ahead and take that. It technically could be a diamond. Level 8s can make it. I kind of hope this one doesn't. I just wanted to get it since we spent the time to track it. But we know there's some red deer up there, so that's good to know. We are past the end of red deer drink time now, and hopefully we can continue with the javelina. We're going to start to loop back down here now that we've gotten this guy. So let's see. He has a gold. He's close. 165 or diamond is 167 but again probably for the best since we just shot him stuck you know even out in the open they are not the easiest things to spot when they're laying on their side like that they really do just kind of disappear but i don't think any of these are all that special i didn't look at the score estimates that level three there i guess is the best one so we'll try to get him Take this little opening there. Not going to be a hard shot, but into a lung, and that's going to get him down. And we're kind of at the far end, so what I want to do last is swing through the middle, and then we'll maybe go to some other spots. There's one place I'm thinking of. There's like a little deserty patch here, and I kind of wonder if the Javelina might spend time up there. As for this guy, though, a 85.2 silver... Double long shot, a little bit behind the heart. I actually thought we might have been far forward, so go figure. But that is our second one now on Parquet, and hopefully we can continue to find some more of them. Maybe this will be a good sign. For the first time, we've got a max weight Javelina track. The question is going to be, will it actually continue? Maybe if we just go far enough in this direction, we can figure it out. Hopefully somewhere in here is going to be the one. That's probably it. I didn't see any other max weight tracks, so unfortunately, just a level 4, at least we're able to find it. Does look to be the brown fur type, so I could be fairly confident that's the one. Hopefully that's a long shot. I mean, the 6.5 is, in a rare case, actually probably a little overpowered for them, and it still ran a bit, but hopefully that's enough. And then... That kind of got us way over here. So we'll probably head down south after this. Blood looks good. So at least we got the lung shot. Probably a touch forward, but we shall see. Liver and right lung, actually. Took that like a champ. I would have guessed it would be a worse shot, but 126 score, the best one of the hunt so far. And we'll try that. We'll go down to, I guess, this tent and just check this area out. And imagine that. Apparently, they are actually up here, at least a herd of them is. So that, I think, will be enough to bring that guy down. We'll see if there's any others up here, but the terrain looks right. I don't know that they're necessarily mountainous creatures. They may be, 
but glad that we could get at least one bonus one and I kind of think those tracks up there would be from a separate group so there probably are more there's a red deer up there too which that we did know about but I like it I feel like they do add quite a bit to parquet but 80 scoring silver there double lung shot on the move almost got another heart shot in there but let's go back let's see if we can get on the tracks there and that'll probably be the last thing we do well I'm not really sure what happened to that group of javelina couple of tracks and then not much to go off of but regardless this area up here is pretty cool we've got access deer we've got a red deer right down here in front of us and I think we'll probably go ahead and try to take that out it's a good size one probably one that spooked when we shot the others got another access deer laying there too this is an area that we probably haven't hunted as much as we should but let's go ahead try to end with a final hard shot I don't know how he suddenly decided that he was going to notice us but made the shot angle a lot easier and actually kind of dropped in a decent way but no incredibly special javelina today we have the one max white one and of course the diamond cinnamon teal as a bonus kill but again everything that we've encountered so far whether it's like the pheasants on Hirschfelden yesterday the turkeys on Leighton, now the javelina here on Parque Fernando I do feel like all those species add something positive to the map that they're on and that's definitely what you're looking for with the uh additions of species like that but a 193 score hard shot him of course at 101 meters and I think that's going to be our last kill but we'll probably come back out here at some stage both for javelina and just to generally hunt parquet again in areas like this too where we haven't hunted as much we discovered that spot up here in the north part of the dead forest it's got red deer drinking all over it so i'm excited to do that more but that is gonna do it for this video so as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time